Amen. Amen. We welcome you. We welcome you to our Wednesday service. Thank you for joining us at home. We bring you love from our Father, Apostle CJ Chris, Apostle Judging Wayo. We bring you love from our Father, Professor Daniel, as we are celebrating his spiritual birthday for the whole month of September. We wish you a very happy birthday, Daddy. We love you so much. It was we greet you for being with us today. Thank you for this one fellowship and uninterrupted fellowship. Amen. I'm just going to have a quick prayer. Amen. Let's start with our intercession. Wherever you are, just join us. Whatever you're doing, just join us and be one with us in spirit. Amen. I know. We think we should start with our intercession. We must face it. If you think we are going to pray for people in hospital, everyone that is hospitalized, we're going to pray for them. We're going to pray for our generals in the street. We're going to pray that their souls be redeemed. And we're going to pray that um, the mercy of the Father locates them. We're going to pray for scholars, then as in schools, their forms of um, transportation. We're going to pray for like, um, the children that are writing exams, whether they are in varsities, colleges, and high school, everywhere. We're going to pray for students writing exams for the mercy and the understanding from the above, the knowledge from above to locate them. We're also going to pray for leaders. We're going to pray for government leading countries all over the world, the presidents leading countries all over the world, for them to rule as the father would, would rule and take decisions as the father would take all his decisions. Let us start praying. We thank you, your majesty. We thank you, our king. We thank you, our lord. We thank you, our deliverer, our sustainer. There is no one like you, oh God. We gathered here to glorify your name. We thank you for the grace. We thank you for your faithfulness. Libra candidela boshanta manda libra katela boshenti. Ibra katila boshanta manda li kandela boshi kutava. Ima kandede de la boshia. Makandola boshi kutra. Ibra kandede la boshi kutre. Maya kandede de la boshanta. Ibra kandede la boshi kutra. Maya handa li kandola boshi kutra. Ibra kandola boshi kutra. We thank you for your love that is manifested in our souls in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for every student. We pray for them, our Father. We pray for their mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for bringing your understanding. Father, you say in your word that from the mouth of infants, you have ordained your praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your praise arise from within their bellies. Let your praise arise in their minds and their surroundings in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them come to the knowledge of your fullness to the knowledge of your spirit to the knowledge of your word in the mighty name of Jesus libra kande de la boshanta manda li kande la boshikuta ibra kando la boshia ima handa li kande de la boshikuta abra kande de la boshanta maya kande de la boshia anta ima kande de la boshiente maya kando no na boshikuta ba ibra kande de la boshikuta abra kande sia manda li kande we thank you, Father, for entering the classroom to teach them, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Words that build, oh God, overthrowing every bondage of curses in the mighty name of Jesus, every altars of faith. Failure, every altars of death in the mighty name of Jesus. We arrest our spirit by your blood. Manda li kandela la boshia anta ibra kando la boshike. Manda li kande na boshi kutra ba ibra kande de la boshanta. Father, we break every bondage of ancestral worship in our schools in the mighty name of Jesus. Li ibra kande de la boshanta. Manda li kande la boshi kutra ibra kande de la boshanta. We pierce through with your light. 
we pierce through with your words in the mighty name of Jesus. Libra candela was Santa, Manda li candela was Sukutraba, Manda li candela was Santa, Ibra candela was the Every misleading and manipulating demon we destroy by the blood of Jesus. Lima candela was Santa, may each and every one of them be sanctified by your blood. Libra candela was Santa, Maya candela was Sukutraba, Maya candela was Sukutraba, Manda Libra candela was Santa, Manda Libra candela was Siete, Ima candela was Sukutraba. Let your praises spring forth, my Father. Ima candela was Santa. Let your praises spring forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Manda Li candela was Santa. We thank you, Abba. We thank you, our Master. Liba Babande candela was Siete, Ibra candela was Sukutraba. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you also for our chains, my Father. Lima candela was Santa. Ima candela was Sukutraba. Ima candela was Santa. Ima candela was Sukutraba. Thank you for the chains of the gospel. Libra candela was Santa. As we walk on these streets, my Father, let them be evident to all in the mighty name of Jesus. Libra candela was Siente. Let those chains be visible. Lima candela was Santa. Let the light of my Father be visible. Libra candela was Sia. Alia handa libra candela was Sia. We thank you, Master. We give you all the praise. We thank you, Holy Spirit. As we come to come, we say thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for manifesting your love and your presence for Jesus tonight. As we worship and we say thank you. We say thank you, Abba. We say, I shall die tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Amen. God, say thank you, viewers all over the world, for joining this session. But as you're here, it says that you're here, it says to everybody else besides yourself. Uh-huh. We say thank you, and as I hand over to my sister. You're the light in the darkness. You're the
We give you praise. We thank you, Holy Spirit. You are indeed the light, oh God. We cannot see without you. We cannot be without you. We give you all of the glory, my Father. We acknowledge your light. We acknowledge your presence. Thank you, our light. Thank you for shining in the darkness. Libra Continue to shine through us, Father. Libra Continue to shine in the mighty name of Jesus. Libra Let your light shine through, Holy Spirit. Libra Kando Raboshu Kutaba. Lima Kande de Raboshianta. Ibra Kando Raboshika. Abra Kande Raboshia. Manda Liba Bande Kene Nena Boshika. Abra Kande. Libra Kande de Raboshu Kutaba. Ibra Kandesa. We cannot be without your light of a father. Lima Kande Raboshia Anta. Libra Kande de Raboshu Kutaba. Ibra Kande de Raboshanta. Manda Likando Raboshiente. Ibra Thank you for your revelations. Libra Kande de Raboshanta. Thank you for bringing understanding. Lima Kande Raboshikutaba. Thank you for bringing your clarity. Ima Kande de Raboshikutaba. Ima Kande de Raboshanta. You say in your word, my father, that when the enemy comes like a flood, you will raise up the standards. Lima Kande Raboshianta. Ibra Kande de Raboshika. Manda libra kande de rabosha, and when the enemy comes in one direction, he will flee from us in seven directions. Libra kande de rabosha kutaba, for indeed you are the light, my Father. Ibra kande de rabosha, and darkness is unreceptive to you, my God. Libra kande rabosha, manda libra handa, likande rabosha, manda likando rabosha kutaba, ima kande de rabosha. We magnify you, Father. We glorify you, Father. Lima kande de raboshanta, ibra kande de raboshia, ima kande de raboshi kutaba. Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor. We thank you, Lord. We stand in all of you, Father. We stand in all of you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, thank you, thank you for understanding. Thank you in the name of Jesus for pouring it on out afresh. Libra candela was shanta. It is new, my father. Libra candela was shanta. It is new, our father. Libra candela was shika. Manda lika handa. Libra kando no rike. Ibra handa rika no sha. Makandela was shikutaba. Iba babande kedena was shika. Yes, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, our Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. You are indeed the light in the darkness. You are the voice in the wilderness, Lord Jesus. Libra kande de raboshika, manda li kande raboshikutra ba. Libra kande de raboshika, libra kande de raboshia, libra kande de raboshika, maya kande de raboshikutra ba, libra kande de raboshikutra ba. We thank you. We thank you, wonder working God. Lord. You are a wonder. You are a wonder to us. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you praise. 
We honor his name. We glorify his name. Amen. Viewers at home, we thank you so much for joining us in this prayer. We're going to continue to pray. Amen. The song says, he's the light in the darkness. Praise God. And this song has been ministering to me since I heard it from Rawani. Bless my father. Amen. It just, um, it, it, it has been ministering to me. And I hope that it ministered to everyone. When you hear a song that says that he is the light in the darkness. Praise God. We cannot do anything without the light. We cannot build without the light. Amen. We're going to continue to pray because my father sends out a command that says pray for the youth and pray for the students. Amen. We thank the father for such a platform as this where we can stand here as the youth and pray for the youth. Amen. And use this platform to minister, to bring out many to him. Amen. Many that does not have the light. Praise God. Hallelujah. It says you are the light in the darkness. And, and I've been singing this song and just worshiping throughout the week. And I get so motivated, praise God, because in the beginning, as we read in the Bible, it says that in the beginning, before everything else, it was dark and the earth was without form. And the first thing that God called out for was the light. Amen. That is the significance of the light. He said, let there be light. Praise God. You cannot do anything without the light. Hallelujah. Out of everything out of that is of necessity in this world, he deemed it fit to call for the light and said, let there be light. Amen. Let there be light. And then everything else that was called into existence, it came and the foundation was already being laid. The light was already there to sustain everything. Amen. We cannot do anything without him. He needs to be the foundation of everything that we have, of everything that we build on. The light. The light. Amen. So the word of God is the lamp unto my feet. Amen. The light. Praise God. We're going to continue to pray. That light, it needs to shine throughout all humanity, throughout every corner of the world, throughout any, every school, throughout every university. Amen. Because we have teachers teaching the students and we don't know from what realm they are speaking from. Amen. We have different people that are worshiping foreign gods, worshiping different altars, coming and speaking on top of the students. Amen. He says in the book of Psalms 8 that from the mouth of them, he has ordained praise. Hallelujah. We need to pray for the youth. Praise God. That is where God's weapon lies. It says he has established a stronghold against his enemy. That is where the weapon lies. Praise God. That's what our father says. He's a youth and he'll never stop being one. Hallelujah. I'm going to take my scripture. Let's, uh, Genesis chapter one. Amen. Genesis chapter one, verse one. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and it was empty and it was, um, it was empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. It says darkness was hovering the surface of the deep. Amen. What lies in your deep? Praise God. What lies in your deep? Hallelujah. For he says that from our bellies will flow rivers of living waters. That is our deep. What lies in your own deep? When you go out every day to go to work or to go to school or or whatever, what do you go out with? I love it so much when our father would say that every prayer that you're praying, it's you're sowing a seed for your tomorrow. If you're praying at night, you're sowing a seed for your expectations into tomorrow. And you pray for tomorrow, you're sowing a seed for the next day. Every day that you're living, you have sowed a seed into it. You are prayed for it. Amen. Praise God. He has given us all power and he has given us all dominion to ordain our days. Amen. When he says multiply and increase his number in number, he didn't say that I will multiply you. He says you multiply and increase in number. 
He says, I have given you all dominion over the earth, over the, the fish of the sea, over the animals. It has been given. It has been given. Amen. It already lies within you. Now it is up to you to wake up tomorrow and utilize that power. Father, it has been given for me to dominate today. Amen. I thank you for your light. You've set a foundation for everything that you're going to do. Because the enemy will come to steal your joy. The enemy will come to test you. Amen. But with the foundation is already been laid. I love it so much in John chapter 1 when he says that that light was the light of men and darkness has not been able to overpower it. Meaning every day darkness is trying to overpower the light. But if the light is there, it's already said darkness is unreceptive to it. There's no understanding and there's no relationship between darkness and light. Now you go out every day, you ordain your days. Father, thank you. And you by ordaining it means that you acknowledge that his grace has been given. And it is new every morning. Praise God. Amen. Verse 2 says, now the earth was formless and it was empty and darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Amen. First he created the heavens and the earth and verse he says, and God says, that is when God started speaking. And the first thing he spoke and he says, let there be light. Amen. Let there be clarity. Praise God. Let there be clarity. Hallelujah. I need to see everything that I'm going to build upon. Now let light exist. Praise God. Hallelujah. There needs to be clarity. There needs to be understanding of what's happening in your surroundings. Hallelujah. Let there be light. If the first thing that he spoke and said, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. God will hear you when you speak. Amen. And God will obey you when you speak. If you speak within him. Amen. The book of James says, you don't pray often, but when you do, you do it amiss. Hallelujah. Let there be light. And I like it so much in the book of Psalms. We're going to pray just now. In the book of Psalms 119, from verse 89, it says, your word is eternal. It stands firm in the heavens. And your faithfulness continues through all generations. You establish the earth and it endures. Your laws endure to this day for all things they serve you. Amen. Now he said, let there be light. Hallelujah. He said, let there be light and there was light. Amen. And God saw that the light was good. <laughs> Amen. He saw that the light was good. It is good to see. It is good to have understanding because now you can see exactly what it is that is needed. You can see exactly what it is that needs to be established because there is now light. And for God saw that the light was good and he separated the light from darkness. And God called the day and God called light day and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. And God says, let there be void between the waters. And amen. And we, we, we jump to verse 9. God said, let there be water under the sky. And verse 11 says, and God said, let there be land, produce vegetation, sea bearing. Amen. Everything else came after the light has been formed. And God saw that the light was good. Now let there be vegetation. Amen. Let there be seed bearing plants, let there be trees, everything that is going to be sustained in the light. And in verse 89 of Psalms 109, it says, your word is eternal because his word is established in the light. His word is wrapped up in the light. Whatever that is built in the light is
is eternal. It stays and it endures through all generations because we serve a God that is the light and a God that never changes. He never goes back. Whatever he says, he says, I'll watch and see that my word is confirmed. I'll watch and see that that word, amen, that that light, it stays and it endures. Your faithfulness continue to all generations for you establish the earth and it endures. Praise God. We need to pray, uh, blessed viewers, we pray for the youth, we pray for the light to be manifested. Praise God. Where it's lacking, the need to be light. You enter in your building and well, let there be light. You send the light forth, amen. The wise men saw the star, they saw the light and they followed the light, amen. You being the light, many will follow you, amen. Because you provide clarity. You provide knowledge. You provide wisdom. You provide God because he is the light. Amen. Hallelujah. Because where the light is, you will never cease to worship him. You will never cease to praise him. Amen. The angels and the heavenly beings are forever in his presence. They can't contain themselves. Holy, holy is the Lord. They worship him. And the minute that light was revealed to prophet Isaiah, he said, whoa. The glory was revealed to him, whoa. And he was prepared to do anything. Who will go for us? I will go because the light was being revealed to him. And he followed the light. Praise God. Hallelujah. He is the light in the darkness. Let that light shine through. Do not suppress it. Amen. Do not suppress it. Many are depending on it. Do not suppress it. It's already there. It has already been given. Amen. Because when God said to Moses, let me come up with my own generation. A generation of light. A generation that is full of his presence. A generation that hungers for him. Amen. Praise God. At school, I would spend many days. I would just I have my phone. If we're not doing anything, I'll just have my phone and I'll start reading the scriptures. Amen. And I was judged for it. <laughs> because of the generation that we are under. Praising God is a foreign language in our schools. Amen. A youth today that hungers for God more than it hungers for, for groove, for going out party. You are ashamed to the world today if you worship God. Hallelujah. Every time, no, I'm going to be on Zoom. No, I'm going to be on Zoom. They were laughing at me. I never even told my sister. They were laughing at me. Yo, it's our every day. Yo, it's our every day. And to an extent, it bothered me until I said my confession to the father because then I, I started feeling ashamed. But we don't have to feel ashamed about him. Amen. Hallelujah. Because now recently, I said, why don't you go to church? like, no. I'm sure you know my father, Professor Liseo Daniel. Said, oh, oh, yeah. And I was like, yes. Churches are closed. We don't go to church. Amen. Let us pray, blessed viewers. And let us continue building each other up and taking each other, carrying each other along. Because the same people that were judging me in this, that classroom are the same people that I will be here praying for. That I pray in my class. I pray that everyone pass, everyone gets carried along and now I'm in class, they're judging me. Amen. But we love it. That is what we, we are here for. And that is what we are doing. Amen. Every day we live. We cannot run from his presence. Whenever we charge you, he will capture you because those whom the father has given to him, they will not be snatched out of his hand. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we give you praise. We honor your name. We thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you. 
Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for preordaining us. Thank you for your light, my Father. It has been given. It has been given. Father, we pray for the manifestation of the light in our schools. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for the youth. Libra candela bosanta, manda libra candela bosu kutaba. Ima handa li candela bosanta, lebra candela bosianta. Ima candela bosu kuta, ibra candela bosanta. Ima candela bosu kutaba, ibra candela bosu ente. Wherever there is darkness, is seized in the mighty name of Jesus. Manda libra candela bosu kutaba. It seizes in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank. Thank you for your light in the mighty name of Jesus. Manda libra kande de la bosanta. Ima kande de la bosikutraba. Maya handa libra kande de la bosika. Ima kande de la bosikutraba. Manda likandora bosiente. Manda libra kande de la bosanta. Ima kande de la bosia. Libra kando la bosanta. Iba bande kenena bosia anta. Libra kande de la bosiente. Lima kando. Lola Bosanta, Ibra Kande de Ramosike, Lebre Kende de Ramosi Putrava, Ima Kande de Ramosika, let there be confusion. In the mighty name of Jesus, Libra Kande de Ramosanta, Ibra Kande de Ramosikutra, Lebre Kende de Ramosanta, Ima Kande de Ramosia, Lebre Yanda, Libra Kando, Lona Bosanta, whatever the enemy is building, Libra Kande de Ramosanta, Lebre Kende de Ramosia, let there be confusion in the mighty name of Jesus, let there be no understanding in the kingdom of darkness, Libra Kande. For the light has entered. Libra Candora was Manda Libra Candela Nena was Santa. For the light has entered. Libra Candela Nena was Santa. Oliana. We thank you for the light in our families. In the mighty name of Jesus, every foundation of darkness, every altar of darkness, in the mighty name of Jesus, every generational curse, my Father, we destroy in the mighty name of Jesus. We break in the mighty name of Jesus. Manda libra kande na bosanta. Let your light enter. Libra kande na bosika. Father, you do not come for peace. Lima kande na bosikuta ba. Let the peace separate. Between light and darkness, Libra Kanda Nena Bosanta, let there be no understanding of Ima Kanona Bosika, Libra Kanda Nena Bosika, Ima Kanda Nena Bosanta, Libra Kanda Nena Bosika, Ibra Kanda Nena Bosikutaba. We thank you, my Abba, Libra Kanona Bosia, Libra Kanda Nena Bosanta, Ibra Kanda Nena Bosanta, those evil altars, they cease to exist in the mighty name of Jesus. They cease to exist in the mighty name of Jesus. For the whatever it is that we are building, we thank you for your light. We establish a new confidence. Libra Kanda and Abosanta. We establish a new confidence. Libra Kanda and Abosanta. Right now, right now. Lima Hana Libra Kanosha. Libra Kanda and Abosia. Lima Kanda and Abosanta. Libra Kanda and Abosi Kutaba. Mandali Kanda. We thank you, Abba. We thank you, our master. We thank you, our light in the darkness. We do not want to live without you, Father. Libra Candela Bosanta. Go ahead of us, oh God. Libra Candela Bosanta. We will follow you, Holy Spirit. Libra Candela Bosicuta. We thank you for the light. Libra Candela. We thank you for that star, my father, that shines in the darkness. Ibra Candela Bosanta, it shines in the darkness. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit. You will provide a way where there seems to be no way because you are the light. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will provide a way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you glory, we give you praise. Blessed viewers, begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Because when the wise men were sent, they went on a totally different mission. Amen. It was a different mission. They were sent for something different. Amen. But along the way, they saw the light, they saw the star, and they began to follow it. And whatever it is that was laid ahead behind them, it ceased to exist from that moment.
moment that darkness ceases to exist the minute when the light is established amen that man that was sent to curse began to bless praise god he began to bless hallelujah they were sent for something else but instead they went to worship and they went to acknowledge praise god they went to acknowledge because when the light is there is acknowledgement there's an exchange amen there's an exchange between you and god because whatever it is that you're trying to build there's an understanding between you and god amen there's that understanding that existed before the fall of man between god and adam whatever it is that adam was doing he did it right he did it in agreement with god there was no confusion there was understanding because there was a relationship and there was oneness between them so the word of god is a lamp unto my feet says when i sent you did you lack anything when i sent you with nothing when you went with nothing didn't you lack anything at all because the light will go ahead it says the lord jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness where the light is we are led and whatever temptation lies ahead we can withstand it because he has already gone to prepare the way in the wilderness he's already gone to prepare everything for you he will say go to this place and you will receive such a thing as this elijah was fed by a bird praise god Hallelujah. He said, if you will not worship me, I will raise up stones and they will worship me. Do not allow yourself to be useless in the presence of the Father. Amen. Do not allow yourself to be useless under the anointing that we are under. I always say, God, I do not want to be here and I don't receive anything. My father will always laugh at me because anytime when there's prayer, I want to receive that prayer. I want to partake from that prayer. I don't know what it is for because the thought alone of me missing out of this of this grace it is scary because everything that I have received now is much more than what I have received before where I was and I thought I knew God until this moment where God begin to reveal himself and you begin to have encounters with him and nothing else matters you just want to dwell in his presence all the time apostle paul says that it and he wishes that he would go to the father but he will not be beneficial he stays in this body because he's more productive but the wish is there that you just long to remain in him and just dwell with him and man. i would just have encounters and the minute i wake up i want to cry because i want to go back in the dream and i want you to continue praise god the build on the light darkness in amplified i love it it says darkness is unreceptive to that light there is no understanding between darkness and light you'll find that many are just rejecting you many are just not liking you many are just looking for situations where they can blame you where they can accuse you darkness is unreceptive to your light darkness will continue fighting you darkness will continue challenging you because it does not like what is in you whatever you will build going forward it is going to stand because it is established on the light and darkness does not want anything standing the enemy does not want you to prosper praise god he does not want you to prosper the youth today you are chasing after material things the enemy will show you everything that seems to be beautiful but there is so much beauty in being broken by god in being captured by his love there's a song that says there's freedom don't you captured me there's a kind of capturing where you are tied and you cannot do anything you want to do this but you can't do it but you are captured by god yet you feel so free in this capturing praise god 
allow that division to happen. Allow that separation to happen. In your families, allow that situation to happen. Allow it because God is the one that is in charge. God is the one that is doing it. He is sitting and watching. He will watch and see that whatever it is, it is established and it comes to pass. Whatever he speaks is not empty. We do not serve an empty God. He never runs dry of mercy. He does not count anything. His mercy is so deep that whatever it is that you feel like you've done and you are undeserving of it, his mercy is just there to swallow everything. Then he can't even see it. I want you who is imperfect. Amen. We give glory to God. Continue to worship. Amen. You will never cease to, to stop worshiping him. Amen. Once you've tasted his grace. I love it in Isaiah chapter 6. In the year that King Uzziah, I saw also the Lord. He was high and lifted up. And the train of his robe, it filled the temple. Something he has never seen before. And there were angels worshiping. Holy, holy is the Lord. You will never stop worshiping him once you know his light and once you are established in his light. The angels just burst out in worship. Amen. And the elders, the creatures, they just agree with everything. Yes, 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 you are worthy. You who opened up the scroll, you are worthy. You who were slain, adorn him with praise. The enemy hates it when you adorn him with praise. Blessed Bills, we thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us in this prayer. Let's continue. We may be offline now, but continue in your dreams. Continue in your homes. Take charge of your spirit. Amen. Let the light be there. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you so much. We love you. We love you wherever you are, wherever you're viewing us from. <clears throat> We love you for this oneness, for this fellowship. Amen. The enemy hates it, but every day you sit fit to connect. You are refusing to be used. You are refusing for the enemy to receive you. Let the enemy continue fighting you. We thank you so much. We love you. I'm just going to ask my sister to ask us with salvation prayer. Amen. <clears throat> Those who would like to be part of this light. Amen. <clears throat> I like thank my sister for the word. I want to thank all the viewers for also joining us in praying. I want to thank the youth also for also watching everyone that is watching across the world, wherever you are. There is no distance in the word. Distance is not a barrier. As we are right now on Zoom also, not um, together physically, but virtually. But there is no virtual intercourse within the spirit. It is spiritual. And there is no distance. In spirituality anyone that has been touched and wants to join in the light in this light um please follow me in this um salvation prayer and when you enter the light my sister said there is oneness in the light it really touched my spirit when she said there is oneness in the light and it reminded me of when we become in the light we lose sight we lose sight and we tend to go to the wrong things because when you're in, she said there is oneness in the light. And I wrote down my book, when there is oneness in the light, that is when persecution comes. Mm -hmm. You know, my father always says, um, Papa Lissach always says that we want all the persecution. When we get persecutions, we know we are doing the right thing. So when you're inside the persecutions, you know you're with inside the light because there's what? There's oneness in the light. And we say thank you through persecution. And when that persecution comes, you know you're in the light because what? You see, the darkness attacks the light. Mm -hmm. That's what I got. That's what I got. So if you want to be in the light and you <coughs> and you also follow me in the salvation prayer, you also need to understand that there is darkness going to attack you, but it is up to you to maintain and stand your ground. Mm -hmm. Because that is what the Father teaches us. Let me get to the salvation prayer. Um, follow me in the salvation prayer, please. Um, Father, okay. I have heard your word. I want to be part of this life. As I come to you right now, I come to you right now. cleanse me, cleanse, make me new, make me new. Write me, write me in the book of life. I accept you. I accept 
as my Lord and Savior. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. And I bow before you, Lord, proclaiming, proclaiming that you and you are God alone. I say thank you, Lord, thank you for accepting me, for making me, for making me born again. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We want to welcome you. <coughs> we welcome you to the light. We welcome everybody to the light. We say you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. As an hello back to my sister. Amen. Thank you so much. We thank you. You are welcome. There is now no more condemnation for those who are in Christ. All the sins of yesterday, all the worries of yesterday, forget about it. We don't get it. Get it. <laughs> just, <laughs> just leave it in the past and journey. It's a new chapter for you and it's a new journey. You start afresh and you start building upon him who is the author and the finisher of your faith. We thank you so much for joining us. We love you. We love you on Facebook. We love you on, on YouTube. Those who are going to be viewing us at the later stage, we love you so much. And we invite you to join us on Wednesdays for youth services. Join us on Mondays for Bible study. Join us on Thursdays for, for prayer, for prayer administration. Yes. Join us on Sunday for our services. The time will always be communicating with you because sometimes we start earlier, we start late. So it will be communicated. Journey with us. It's amazing to be in God and to just know the truth. You're living in a totally different world than everybody else because you carry the light and you have all the insight. Amen. We thank you, blessed viewers. We'll see you tomorrow for our Thursday ministration. We love you so much. To God be the glory. You're the light in the darkness. the Oh.